take nose so i was just like all right bop, 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 bop. hey what's up you guys it's your girl nina and i am back with another video y'all um if you read the title yes today i'm gonna be doing my favorite one of my favorite meals okay not my favorite but one of my favorites for sure and you already know what the fuck going on i'm gonna be doing a popeye's mook bank and i'm gonna be doing a story time for you guys um hold on I'm going to be telling you guys about the first time young Nina got into a fight, okay? So this is, I'm not a violent person, okay? So before I tell you guys this uh, story, this was a long ass time ago and um, your girl just doesn't fight anymore, okay? Like I'm just too cute to be fighting. My nails are always done so I cannot be fucking those up. And as you know, it's just like a waste of time that I, now that I see it, okay? So I've just matured, if you can say so. But um... I already ordered this Popeyes like two hours ago and I haven't even touched it yet so I know it's like cold as shit right now. Um, but yeah, I got my three piece tender combo with um, mild. I actually asked for spicy so I don't know why they gave me mild. And then no sauce. And then regular fries. What? They're just like fucking up the whole meal but um, I just really need to get like a bite of this this shit is like cold as fuck right now but y'all look what i got really really hot in here first of all hold on mm, it's cold as shit but before i start this story y'all um please make sure you give this video a thumbs up you already know how i'm coming with the story time go comment Go subscribe, go turn my notification bell on, go tell a friend about me, okay? Go do all those nice things and then we can start. And I'm gonna be waiting until you do so. I'm talking to you. You that haven't done it yet. That's watching me eat you. All right, but anyways, y'all, let's start. So this took place in, um, where was, when was this? This was in middle school, okay? So this was middle school me that was just super ready to pop off. Um, super arrogant just like ratchet just like you know them like um immature okay immature me and this was around six i want to say sixth grade no it was seventh grade okay so this was seventh grade because i went to school in new york in sixth grade so this was seventh grade and i remember walking home from school with my brother because my school was like so freaking close to me so i walked home from school one day and i remember my neighbor I used to basically live on a block with like a whole bunch of friends okay so there was like people around my age on my block and it was like we just had so much fun we always played outside this and this um but there's one particular girl that i didn't like on my block and i didn't like her for no reason i mean she just annoyed me but like we're cool now but that's besides the point um i just like didn't like her i just wanted to like oops i just kind of like wanted to pick fights with her and just start a bunch of shit for no reason okay that was like old school me anyways so i remember i was coming home um walking home with my brother and her mom or her family her mom and her grandparents they were not home and i remember her mom coming to tell my mom that um she needed someone to watch her child so she was just she was in seventh grade like me yeah she's like seventh grade like me and she wanted someone to watch her you know just keep an eye out on her and all this stuff so I remember i was telling her like um, I just wanted to pick a fight, so I was just like, like Well, my mom's gonna like babysit you, so you need to come to our house so she can watch you because she don't got time to keep going back and forth to your house. I remember just being like a snobby little brat and then she didn't want to come, so she was just like, No, like I'm just gonna chill in my house, like I'll be fine by myself. And um I was like, Alright, whatever. I was like chilling on my porch and I had these other girls that were on my block, like I'm not gonna say their name, but let's call them let's call them like I have the most, I don't want to say ratchet names, but let's call them Diamond and let's call one like Sharkeisha. <laughs> I don't know. Let's call one Diamond and Sharkeisha. So basically, the Diamond and Sharkeisha, they came out and they were just chilling with me. Like those are my uh, homegirls that I chilled with. 
and I was just telling them like, oh, like she don't want to come out this and then she like she talked back to me. She's trying to argue this and that, you know, just picking petty ass fights for no reason. And I remember everyone on the block was like, uh, uh, we need to go back there and tell her off again. This and this. So me being me, um, I went back to her house. I knocked on her door. I was like, um, I'm not gonna tell you twice. You need to come out. You need to come over my porch and have my mom watch you there because she's not gonna um go watch you at your house. You take a bite. Mmm. It's not spicy, but it's all right. It's all right. Mmm. I'm gonna have to fuck this up with some barbecue. I'm mad that they didn't give me spicy after I deliberately said spicy. But it's all right. Anyways, let me continue this story. So I went over her house, right, y'all? And I was just like, you better come over here because my mom's trying to watch you, this and that. And she gave me attitude. She was just like, no, I'm not going to come over there. I was like, all right. And I was like, bop, bop, bop. Okay, let me get detailed with this because I'm rushing the story. Put my Popeyes down. Basically, she said no to me. And me being the brat I am, I don't take no's. So I was just like, all right. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, I'm not that person no more, but I literally remember just like punching her down, just trying to pick a fight with her for no reason. I was just like punching her down. And it was in her room, I remember, because I went into her house, I rushed her, I just punched her. I feel so bad that I did that well. I'm not even like that no more than that, but I literally like socked her out. And this bit, well, let me not call her that because this is my, uh, my friend right now. This girl, literally like because i had it on the floor like kept punching her punching her she grabs me and bites my stomach literally bites the fuck out of my, like bites my stomach and left a whole mark okay like a whole bite mark on my stomach like, literally fucking vampire the fuck out of me in my stomach like right by my um belly button and i will never forget that i was just like what the f like i was just so fucking mad like then i went back and i told my mom i was just like she was trying to pick a fight, this and this, and she bit me on my stomach. And my mom was like low key mad. Like she was like, uh uh, don't let nobody bite you, this and that. Like how my uh, how Jamaican moms be? She was like, uh oh, you better have like showed her something. You better have like whooped her or whatever, whatever. And she was talking about that we jumped her, and it was just literally me, like my hands throwing. But I guess all the other girls was there that she wasn't even like realizing. She was just like in the fucking moment, so it felt like more hands was on her or something. But I mean, we cool now. Um, I talked to her now. She was literally the girl I went to Six Flags with. If you watch my other vlogs, I don't know if she wanted me to uh, tell her that. But we cool now, okay? That's past that, y'all. I used to really be violent. Um, I used to just pick fights for no I mean, I wasn't that bitch to pick fights at school or nothing like that. But, I mean, this particular girl I would just pick fights on for no reason. And I don't even know why the fuck I did it. I don't know why. But I hope y'all don't label, label me as that. Like, somebody who's trying to beat somebody else. Just know I don't play when it comes to my family. I don't play when it comes to... I, I can talk shit about me. I don't care. I'm not going to fight a bitch over saying shit, shit about me. Um, But I will put hands on you if you put hands on me. That's period. Um, If you spit on me, that's period. You get in the fucking hands. Um, I mean, if you talk shit about my family, that's on your opinion. I don't really care. That's your opinion. But if you're doing something to harm the people I love or you're doing something to harm me bitch is raps okay you you really finna get these hands and that's that and i don't just talk to talk all right y'all you really finna get these jamaican hands <laughs> you really finna get it this shit is bomb period fire that was so quench thirsting i have gotten into some like more fights afterwards um and it basically was with one of my friends on the block again and we were just like i think she had like a whole attitude with me or like she stole one of my um barbie doll uh, pieces and i was just wasn't having it like i accused her i was like you were the only one me and you were the only one playing with it so where the fuck it went like i, I know you stole my um barbie egg my barbie kitchen set like i know you stole it and she was just like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Got into a fight. I dragged her off my porch. I was like, all right, then get off my porch then. I feel like I got into another fight, but it wasn't like serious. It was just like play fights. Like, just like being an immature ass kid. And, I mean, I, there hasn't been people that really tried me. Like, there's been one girl that like called me, called me out my name or called me a bitch or something. I was like, who's a bitch? Like, who are you talking to type shit? But like, we never fought. Like I said, I've always been like a quiet person at school. 
And it's usually the quiet people that can fight, all right? I'm telling you. Like, the people who talk the most shit can't fight, period. Like, the people who be like, oh, I'll, I'll beat a bitch out of this and that really, really can't fight. I promise you. The most humble people that don't say shit and just ready to square up are the people that can fucking beat your ass up. I hope you enjoyed this little story time. I know it was short. Let me know what other story times I should do, you guys. And I will definitely, you know, come through for y'all. Definitely do them. Um, let me know, you know, what else y'all want to see. Like, um, some other foods I should try or anything like that. Just let me know what my next video should be about. And I will definitely come through for you guys. Till then, y'all. Until then, you already know what I'm going to say. Do things Nina's way and you'll be okay. Bye.